Podcast. Okay, so good to have you guys. Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, make an algorithm that creates uh, subsets of a given list or of a given array. So in Python, we call them lists. Right, let's say um, I have a list called nums, which has got these elements. Uh, let's say I have one and two. So uh, the algorithm that we want to create is the one that actually you know gives us subsets of this list. Uh, so from this list, we can actually get uh, first the, an empty one, an empty subset, and then we can get one, and then we can get uh, two, and then uh, we can get one comma two. So we actually get four subsets from this given set, okay? so. Uh, however, if I have just one element, uh, just like that, uh, so it simply means this is going to be reduced to just two, okay, two subsets, okay, so so each time you add an element, you realize that it's going to double, okay, the number of subsets that you get, All right, so let's get into the code and see how we can achieve that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to define a method called subset here. And then obviously we want to pass in a list or an array, okay? Uh, so I can call this an array. Uh, all right, the first thing we want to create is an empty array. The first one that's going to be, that's going to be added um, when we create this. So we need to create an empty one. So I'm going to call it B, uh, let me call it B, is equal to an empty list. And then if not array, we want this B to append. Uh, append array. Okay, so this is how you create the empty, that empty set you saw inside. Um, like I was explaining here, let me explain it one more time so that you guys can see. Uh, that's the most important part. So let's say I have a list of nums, right? Um, equals to one comma two. Um, the way it works is inside here, the first uh, subset is going to be an empty you know, list, right? Uh, an empty set. So this is the one that we're creating here with this line, with these three lines of code. Okay, and then uh, let's see how you create the rest. And so after here, if else, right? Uh, if something else, and then uh, I'm gonna say first, uh, the first thing you wanna do is, you wanna separate the first element from the rest of the element. So Ari, we use what we call slicing, but we just call this, yes, we just pass in uh, element, the first element of a given array, that's what we want. So it's, it's on index zero. And then we're gonna call this second, or second um, array one up to the end. So this is how we do it, one up to the end, the first index is the second element so up to the end and then now we're going to use what we call recursion okay uh, but we're going to loop through at the same time we're going to use recursion so for x uh, for x in we call the subset now this is when we call this function now it's it's it's, it's now calling itself recursion that's that's what it means a function calling itself and so we're going to pass in this second okay uh, we're going to pass in this second after then what we need is we, we need b to append this x b dot append so we want x to be appended in b to be put in b that's what it simply means okay um and then 
we're going to create another variable called C, which is going to take the first uh, variable. This uh, is going to be a list, and first uh, we, we want to make it a list, and, and then we're going to add the X into that. Okay, and then lastly, we want to append this C. Okay, so B is going to append C, append C, just like that. And then finally, um, back on this, uh, you know, like you, you guys know Python uses uh, indentation. So we go back to this line, okay, and then we want to return the B. Okay, so now I can call uh, this function and it's going to do the work. All right, so let's see this function at work. Um, uh, say I have nums like I say equals to uh, one comma two. Let's take one comma two for for a start. So I want to print a subset of nums. Okay, so if I'm to run this, uh, you see down here. Okay, so we have the empty set. We have one, two, and one, two, just like that. So we have four elements, right? Four elements of this. Uh, subset right the four subset element of this set we can all if i add another one you, you will see it will double three control s control b you will see this has doubled you know up to h one two three four five six seven eight okay so we can actually print the length uh let me print the length um uh len subset Nums, right? Now I'm just you know printing the the length control S control B. You see we have an eight here. Okay, the length is eight. If I add another number here, the moment you add another one, it's going to double. Okay, uh, control S control B. You see now I have sixteen elements. Um, so from the first element, uh, control S control B, we're just going to have two, and then if you add. Is going to double the two okay control s control b you see two times two four four times two is going to be eight if i add another element control s control b is going to be eight elements you know of the subset let's see if i do not have anything in that you know list control s control b is just going to return an empty list okay so uh it's just going to have a one element okay which is up here so this is how you basically make um you create subsets okay of a given set of elements okay so uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine let's see uh, control is control b you see how this one has got five twelve okay, five hundred twelve elements okay subset elements this one has got five hundred four so if if i'm to double this you get ten twenty four right um if I'm to add one more, like 10, control S, control B, you come down here, you see this 1024 here, down here. Okay, 1024 elements. So that's how you actually create uh, uh, an algorithm for subsets. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, you can, you know, apply this uh, solution uh, to your problems. All right, so I want to thank you. Uh, I hope to see you in our next video. All right, bye-bye.